Hi everyone, just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about function transformations. Um, so we are ultimately going to be talking about uh, translations, both vertically and horizontally. And then we're going to talk a little bit about compressions and stretching, um, again, both vertically and horizontally. So let's look at what we have here. So right now I have um, my regular function. I just called it f of x is equal to 1 half x plus 3. And then um, I looked at these and I just plotted them twice. All right. So we have the original plot, which is red. Uh, I have another one and another one, which are green and blue. And I'm going to do different things to them to kind of show you what can happen. So for right now, we're going to start with the h. Um, and this is similar to what you kind of were exploring. All right. So I did minus h and I can do plus h. So you'll notice two things have happened. The one has ended up above, the one has ended up below. But if I were to actually plug these in, let's kind of look at what is happening. So if I plug in the x minus h, I have x minus h plus 3. And on this one, I would have 1 half x plus h minus or plus 3. So the only thing that's changing here is we're essentially adjusting my x value. I, I'm not directly dealing with my y-intercept here. I mean, obviously, it is changing. Um, but really, what is happening is I'm focusing in on this x value. And I'm taking it, and I'm either subtracting something from it, um, or I'm taking it over here, and I'm adding something to it. And that's causing me to shift. And when we are having something on the inside that's kind of like directly affecting the x, you talk about it in terms of the x value. So we're talking about this in terms of horizontal and vertical. Um, and I know it's a little bit hard to see right now because obviously um, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a line, right? So it's a line, so it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but there is kind of a difference in what we have going on here. So essentially what we're doing is we're subtracting h from x. So like if I put in 2 and then I subtract 1 from it, that's the same as if I put in 1. Right, but now I'm plotting it at two. So that's why we're moving um, to the right because we're kind of lowering the value, right? And then on the other one, if I was gonna put x equals two, but I'm adding one to it, I'm really plotting three, but I'm plotting it at two. So that's why it looks like it's moving to the left. Um, so ultimately, when you have something like this, see, they're going to end up going more to the left and more to the right. Now I know it's kind of hard to see because it looks like they're just increasing um, vertically. But let me do this as in terms of an absolute value, and I think that'll help you see a little bit better. So if we did this in terms of an absolute value, we're going to talk about these graphs a lot later, but I think this is a lot easier for you to see this. Um, if I subtract h, look what happens. It goes to the right. So if I subtract h from inside, this is a horizontal shift to the right. If I add h on the inside, it's a horizontal shift to the left, okay? So that's all that's all that's happened here. I've gone this way, gone to the right, and on this one I've gone to the left. And it's a little bit hard to see when they're lined, right? Because there's not really a center point. But if you think of it in terms of the center, what are we adjusting on this one? We're adjusting the center of h. We're not really affecting the k, which is affecting the h, or we're not really affecting the y directly, right? It's a little bit more apparent when you're dealing with absolute values. So let's now look at what happens if I'm adding and subtracting outside. Ooh, sorry. So minus h. Ooh, no, I want h. Sorry. Usually when you have outside, you're dealing with k. Plus k. All right, so as you can tell, and this one I think is a little bit more easy to see, um, the k, it goes up. You're adding it, you're going up. You're subtracting it, you're going down. And why is that? So essentially what we're dealing with here is, um, if I were to plug this in, it's x plus 3, and then I'm just subtracting k from that. So essentially I'm taking my y-intercept and I'm subtracting a number from it, so it's going lower. Unless I was subtracting a negative number, then higher, but that's a different story. Um, and then on this one, what I'm doing is I'm taking it, 
and I'm adding K to it. So basically what we're doing is we're taking uh, my line, my y-intercept here, and I'm adding a number to it. So it's going up, all right? So as you can tell, if I were to increase it, oop, it's going the wrong way, sorry. Okay, as I increase it, it gets further and further apart, right? This one's shifting further up, this one's shifting further down. Um, so when you have it on the outside, we call this a vertical translation or vertical transformation. And it's being shifted, if it's plus, up, and if it's minus, down. So it's a vertical shift up, K, and a vertical shift down, 